in receiving a gift, the blessing that comes to the giver is your chief delight. You are attached to the giving of gift, and you, the real you, are attached to the receiving of a gift. When you give a gift, you go with it. When you receive a gift, you go with it. Or you are attached to that transaction. And the you that is attached to the giving of the gift, the you that's attached to the gift that is given, is either a gift, just like the gift. It's either, it, it's, it's either grace, like the gift is, or it is a booby-trapped box full of hidden emotional expenses. No one ever, uh, you don't give a gift Christmas morning, even the non-Christians know, you don't give a, Christ, a gift Christmas morning, and you say, uh, they open it, and say, oh, I like it, and you say, yeah, that costs $50, I can take you 10s, or, you know, whatever. They say, what are you talking about? This is a gift. You, you don't expect to be paid in crass material terms for the gift, or you don't expect to be paid for the gift. But many people do expect to be paid for the gift. It's just not, you just don't have the invoice in the, you don't have a physical invoice um, in the box. What's in the box is a spiritual, emotional invoice, set of invoices, and you realize with dismay when you open this box and see how expensive it was, and you realize who gave it to you, that you're going to pay for this gift for a long, long time. Because you see the emotional invoice connected. You don't want to give a box full of booby trap emotional expenses, hidden emotional expenses. Don't be like the woman that C.S. Lewis referred to. Uh, C.S. Lewis said she lived for others. And he said you can always tell who the others were by their hunted expression. There's a kind of person who loves to get things out of giving to people. They love the reputation of being a martyr. They love to work everybody's... They, 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 love to, they like making other people feel guilty. They, they just work and work and work in order to get certain things. But Jesus said it's more blessed to give than to receive. And when he says give, he means really give. And so when you really give, when you really let it go, the way Jesus let it go, when he died on the cross for us, when Jesus surrendered to God the Father in the garden, when he really let it go, God exalted him. God, therefore, God has lifted him up to the highest place. You can't pretend to humble yourself. God says, if you humble yourself, you'll be exalted. But he doesn't promise exaltation to those who go through the motions of humbling themselves or who try to fake him out. If you humble yourself, if you let it go, if you drop it, if you surrender the whole point, you can surrender it gladly, you can die. The old blues song says everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. If you die, you can die in the hope of resurrection. And you can die safely trusting God to raise it up again. But when you're trying to hang on to one end of it, when you're trying to keep a hold of it so that you can reel it in whenever you want, that's not giving. That's manipulating. You're trying to trick God, trying to trick the Holy Spirit. You give the gift, certainly. But the gift always gives you. You give a gift, but the gifts you give always give you. And it will always be the you that you are, and not the you as you appear to yourself to be in your fond daydreams. 